Hi, I'm the Brit, and welcome to my channel. In this episode, we are going to Quattro Colinas, where we are going to continue with the story missions. I just received a call from Sole Santiago, one of my neighbors. She is an olive farmer who has become a, a de facto representative for most of the people working the land here. She told me that one of our farmers has had his barn broken into, which is strange enough for a barn in the middle of nowhere. What makes it truly bizarre is that this farmer's tractor has had the tires slashed. Apparently, there are footprints that lead from the barn. I know that you weren't planning on chasing any people during your time here, but if you could put your tracking prowess to use, I'd appreciate it. Santiago told me that the farmer who owns the tractor was opening up this morning when he spotted that the lock on the barn was broken. Sometimes neighbors get a little petty and do stupid things, but Armando is such a sweet man. He wakes up early, tends to his crops, and goes home. I can't imagine anybody wanting to do this to him. He seems pretty surprised about it all too. That tractor is definitely out of action. On the plus side, Armando doesn't store anything valuable in there. The footprint should be nearby. Be careful. We don't know who left these footprints and what they're capable of. Armando is an old man, so it's for the best that he didn't go trying to track them down. Hopefully you won't encounter any trouble. I don't know if we're going to find anything, but I'll admit, I'm curious about what's happened here.
They end once they get back to the road. But look, there's tire tracks here. The tracks were left by something heavy. Take a picture with the footprints and tire tracks inside it and send it to me. Santiago also happened to mention that she has been chatting with some of the other farmers. It would appear that news of Armando's tractor and Manuel's lost coat have spread, and it's making them nervous. Of course, these two incidents are very different, but it's putting the farmers on edge. <sighs> Things like this didn't happen when my parents were in charge. I just need to make it clear that we are taking care of things still. One farmer has taken to planting old hunting traps. I don't know if they're hoping to catch a wolf or a vandal, but either way, I want you to remove these traps from my reserve. They are an old design, extremely dangerous, and have a tendency to injure but not cleanly kill the animal that wanders into them. If a person were to somehow be caught in one, I hate to even consider it. Santiago told me that the farmer who plays the traps has gone on vacation with his family. He's shaken. He had apparently spotted something running along the back of his fields at dusk, just as he was about to go home. I can understand his anxiety. Nobody is more concerned about the problems we're all facing than I am. But I wish they'd come to me. Santiago has been a real help keeping me in the loop about what's going on amongst the farmers. But I fear that she's losing confidence as well. She takes my calls, but I rarely see her anymore. I am just glad that we see eye to eye about these dangerous traps. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please don't forget to hit that like button.